in A.D. 67 or Tang Yongping, Han Dynasty, Buddhism was introduced to China. At the end of the 3rd century, Buddhism was transferred to Mount Gome, a famous mountain for Buddhism in the southwest part of China. At the end of the 9th century, Master Nam Hui Xu, coming to Mount Gome, became the first Nam of Mount Gome in the history. Mount Gome currently has 56 Nams and 5 convents. In the cloudy Mount Gome forests, they are leading a meditative and invoking life. Five early morning, nuns at the Fuhu Temple begin their morning practice. Besides the Lungyan scripture and heart scripture, the residing is designated to release misery of the earthly and blessed and happy life. Viceroy of Fuku Temple, carrying all Buddhist events there. After recitation, she leads the nuns to walk around the order, murmuring Buddhist aphorisms to save the mankind. After morning session, nuns sweep and clean the temple within and without. Yang Hui is 24, the youngest nun of the temple. Upon graduation from middle school, she became a nun, and today she gets accustomed to her secluded religious life. Built in Jin Dynasty, which is about AD 265 to 420, the temple has three grand halls. 
At the turn of the Ming and Qin dynasties, the temple was burned down by battle fire. Rev. Mark Guangzhi determined in front of rubble and spent 20 years to rebuild the current scope of the temple. The temple has 26 nuns, headed by Master Chang Qing. She is so old as to leave the temple road times to Yanci. The government religious policy reconduce the secret fire of the temple, which now enjoys quite a reputation in the southwest part of China. On the 1st and 15th of the Chinese lunar calendar, Buddhist believers come from all corners for pilgrimage. They amount to 500 to 600 with a peak of 1,500 people. Welcome their visit. The whole temple gets very busy, and Yuan Hui and Yan Qing are preparing facilities and instruments. After preparation at the home, Yan Qing comes to meet the visitors. She is 33, from Hainan, Sichuan province. She has been a nun for five years. On these two days, believers donate a lot to the temple, and every donator will be honored with a souvenir from the temple. Yan Quan used to be a worker at a county cannery. She is now 28 and has been an arm for six years. Her primary work is to sell copies of the Buddhist scriptures and souvenirs. From Shehong County, Yan Zi has been a nun for 15 years. At 18, she became one of the first mountain army nuns under the government policy of religious freedom. Fifteen years of religious life has turned her from a country girl to a firm believer. <音>我才写的是历史的回忆 当生命不在年轻又回头过返乡的经历，终将成为君民的诗篇。二的时候，我就是也是借用人家的诗，他不是我自己做的。一生潇洒有几何？不过出家人还是过得自在，也不要过得死板硬套的。生活还是应该充满
，好，这是你自己画的，这些全部是我自己画的，不要笑哈，我没说，不要笑哈。哎，这个是庆，这是我们打庆，这是我们考的中，这是我们的鼓，这是大钟，这是饺子，这是引庆，这是照明当值，这是鼓，这是鱼子，这是铃子，对，请进。这个呢，就是我对方这个经书的地方。嗯，在我们福建来说，不外乎就是包括这个金龙人三藏，但是我这个地方的书呢，全部是论藏，就是佛学的理论，占了百分之八十。其余的呢，一般就是佛学的这个文言，还有行、住、坐啊，应该做到些啥子理解，还有这个寺庙的管理啊，还有这个呃对外接待啊，有些知识。都还是很重要的，这一块。这里头是我的佛堂啊。这个佛堂起啥子作用呢？就是说，除了寺庙工作以外，晚上进了，在这里做下禅呢，诵诵经呢，也就是静下心嘛。我要说的，静坐上是自己过嘛，就起这个作用。这个呢是供奉的观音菩萨，这个是阿弥陀佛。我为啥子要供这个阿弥陀佛像呢？因为我是修净土宗的。你看我身上背这个珠子啊，就体现说明我是修净土宗的，就是念阿弥陀佛的。啊，这个是观音菩萨，因为观音菩萨也是提倡净土法门，观音菩萨也是念阿弥陀佛修成了的。这一种呢是普贤菩萨，普贤菩萨为啥我要供奉他？因为阿弥陀佛是普贤菩萨的道场。Religious events on the first and the fifteenth are so important. It is believed that during these two days, Buddhists will gather on Mountain Lingju and select those people who would be uplifted to heaven. Thus, believers are supposed to hold the Buddhist events for their release from purgatory. 就说啊，不疼，不疼。还这个吃的还舒服嘞，长胸很要早点做。At noon break, nuns have their personal sins to do. According to Buddhist commandments, nuns have to mutually have their hair cut. Hair cutting indicates the exclusion from all secular desires. They believe that. In this rigid and hard surroundings of the temple, practice will get rid of all their sufferings and worries, as well as to save others from the sea of misery. This is the ultimate object of their temple life. <laughs> 法民 used to be one of primary incomes of the temple. In history, most temples had their own land. As is said, agriculture and religion are equally important. But in the past decades, entrance tickets and donations support the temple economically. The lot attached to the temple is enough to supply vegetables to man. 
Sunny Tavern means almighty light or boundless light. It is a paramount object of consecration in Fuku Temple. One of the Sukhavari practice is reciting Amitabha all the time. By so doing, it is believed that the chanter may someday become Buddha. Yuan Hui regards the temple as her home, which she never thinks of leaving behind. There is a vacant lot at the backyard of the temple with flourishing shrubs and flowering plants. Nuns are not allowed to leave the temple without permission. This is where they frequent. <laughs> This plant is called dark food, which they pick for vegetable dish. Spring 
is the best season for the temple to organize the cardinal events. The procedure is so complicated that it usually happens once a year. of the cardinal events include eulogizing the infinite mercy of Avalokitesvara. Buddhism held that Buddhas are human beings, but they differentiate themselves by saving mankind while releasing themselves of secular misery. Nans assume that after the cardinal events, Buddhas were blessed good weather and peaceful life to the worldly people. Thank you. 
，哎，如人因水冷暖自知，晓得不？如我说出来的话，那都不是真的，晓得不？语言文字所表达毕竟是有限的东西，晓得不？这个语言就说有限的话，就是虚妄。这就是说《金刚经》里面所说的，晓得不？这就是佛，也就是佛所说的，晓得不？不知你们看到吗？《金刚经》没有，<笑>没有吧？嗯，好了，我们该上电了。The afternoon session begins at 4 p.m. and ends at 5:30. Legend says that there are many evil deeds by devils around. Who become ghosts after death, suffering in the hell? Nuns recite the mantra and scripture to pray for community peace and rebirth of these devils. The last event of the temple is set at 9 p.m. Under ever-shining candles, Yuan Hui and Yan Qing are tolling the last bell, blessing a happy and peaceful life to every worldly people.
经济电视台。This is Chengdu Economy TV Station.